first song, first impression, what was it like? Like that first time you sat down, put the pen to the paper and started writing out that first song? Um, I mean, it was a bad song. Like it was bad. Like I wrote, I wrote for some girl. It was, it was weird. I wrote a song for. It was bad. Yeah. I for a girl. Yeah, yeah man. That's what's up. <laughs> I drew smooth with yeah, it. Yeah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah, not at all. <laughs> my name is Lassen Interre. This is my story. Just start, just like, what got you started with music, with words, with rhymes? Like, what was that spark for you? Um, I would say everything was a little different. Like, um, words kind of was pushed on me by my father. He would make me and my siblings, like, write out the dictionary every single day when we were young. So, like, write down ten words, and by the end of it, tell them what all the ten words meant. You know what I'm saying? So, I think we did that until we were done with the whole dictionary. So words, like I've, I've always been good with words. So, but when it came to music, I've always loved listening to music. My favorite artist is Chris Brown. So I just like, I just like singing along. So that's how I figured out I could sing. But when it came to like writing music, I was like 10 or something. I don't remember, I was 10 or, 10 or 11. And a Disney movie came on by the name of Let It Shine. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And, I, and, that, and that was the reason I was like, all right, let me try it out. And then I, I figured out, like, I, I thought I was good. I was terrible at the time. And then started writing every day and I got better. You're saying, like, Let It Shine was what kind of sparked that. It's a yeah, Disney movie. It's, it's kind of it's immature. But, but it's like, what about that made you feel good? Or, like, what about music makes you feel good? Um, Being able to create, you know what I'm saying? Creations. And, and creativity is always like a, a great outlet, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just love having an imagination and being able to to create my own narrative with words. And that's how you tell stories. But music is another way to tell a story, but with a melody, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely wanted to get in tune with that. So I figured it out and I kept doing it and I'm still doing it, but I'm gonna start actually releasing stuff soon, but yeah. That's crazy. And it's like, okay, words are one thing, but like the melody, the rhyme scheme, like, do you play any instruments? Or like, what kind of got you into that as well? My parents are very musical people. Like, um, so I listen to everything. So, you know, I have um, an African side and I also have, you know, my regular like American like side. I have the best of both worlds. So I know how to like differentiate like different sounds and I also know how to like make them connect because I feel like I'm the best of both worlds. Like, I still got both cultures and I definitely just. So you said you started writing music at a young age. Yeah. First song, first impression, what was it like? Like that first time you sat down, put the pen to the paper and started writing out that first song? Uh, I thought I thought I, I thought I was a Disney character, my damn self. Um, I mean, it was a bad song. Like it was bad. Like I wrote I wrote for some girl. It was it was weird. I wrote a song for her. it was bad. Yeah. I for a girl? Yeah. Yeah, That's man. <laughs> I drew smooth with yeah, it. Yeah, man. Nah. nah. Not at all. Not at all. First song, obviously needed improvement. What was that upward mobility? Like, where'd you go next? So I definitely, like, listened to more music after that. So I tried to, like, figure out how they use music to their advantage in different styles. So what I would do was, like, let's say I listened to a Drake song. I would write a song, a song in the exact same cadence he wrote it in but with different words. Yeah. So I learned how to, I kind of made it so I could learn that flow. So I did that with different artists and different songs. And then eventually I, I moved up to the point where I was just like, okay, let me find a beat and just go crazy with it. And like, I would, I found myself using different flows, styles, cadences from different artists. And I feel like that's how it, how it needs to be and how it should be. I feel like that's how people learn how to make their own music. You take different parts of everything else and make it your own. So now you're in college, you're an athlete, you have a lot going on. Like, how do you find time to still work on your craft of music? And like, do you travel? Do you work with others? Or is it just kind of solely like a Zulu project? It's a me thing. I don't just write music, like take the time to write music all the time. So what I would do is I, I just like listen to music and like freestyle in my head or something. 
Like, that's just me, like, getting practice. Like, I don't got to, like, sit down and write it on pen and paper. Like, I don't need it to be tangible anymore. So, like, now I just, like, sing my own melody. Like, listen to an instrumental while I'm in class or something. Or on the way to class and just freestyle in my head or just, like, something like that. That way I just get some practice. It doesn't need to be tangible unless I need to remember it and write it down. That's what I got my phone for. Put it in the notes. Should probably use it for something later. That's awesome. Do you travel at all for, like music or for like working with like people that record or do you record your music or is it simply just kind of something that's like therapeutic and like you know stay it, in your phone it was therapeutic at first but i'm recording now like i'm starting to so all that's gonna be coming soon can we get a sneak peek of what's coming soon like what's like what's next what's... um sneak peek nah um but things are maybe things. a theme an idea all right so um i like the chicks tape and i like um tory lanes a lot I love Tori. <laughs> so, um, I took the liberty of making my own version of it. Um, he made Chick Tapes 1 through 5. So, I was like, let me make my own version, but let me make six. So, I called it the six tapes. Um, five different songs. I mean, well, six different songs on it, but five of the songs are different than anything he's done, like, currently. So, making my own version, and it's just a little mixtape or something that I, that I got going on, something I want to, like, put out, yeah. put on SoundCloud or something, so that everybody can enjoy it, but it's coming out. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. So for Chase Tapes, like, he usually takes, like, a song and does his own thing, which is kind of, like, what you said yeah. is, like, your style. Do yeah. you feel like that's something that you like more than doing, like, original stuff, or is it just kind of something that's, like, easier, like, pay respects to people that have made, like, dope music? I mean, it's nostalgic, because I feel like the era of music I came up in, I mean, always give respect to the music in the past, but music era um, that I came up in, it's definitely something I would that I, I feel like I wish I could have tapped into earlier, but at the same time, I'm old and I can do what I want with it now. Yeah. So, I mean, sampling it, oh, making original music is always cool, but sampling it is something I've always wanted to do because I want to make myself a part of something that I loved so much when I was, you know, at a different stage. So, yeah. yeah. Bringing up, like, memories and just talking about how, like, music is timeless, I feel like we're in a record store, it's only right to kind of look around and see what memories we can bring back, yeah. what we can look into. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Times in your life. Cassie. Please. Cassie brings back some memories. My mom used to love her music. I mean, I'm a Rihanna fan, so I'm not going to criticize that. Come on, you can. The loud, loud is the different. Loud. You, you can. This one. She brought her essence in my opinion. Oh yeah, she she did her thing. California King Bad, only girl. You know what I'm saying, what's my name? Drake. Come on. Nah, that was me back. That was the greatest summer of my life. Music can quite literally connect people. You're bonding over an experience that one person had, and you're listening to it. You're connecting over music. So I feel like music definitely brings people together, whether you know it or not. Describe music in few words. The greatest language ever spoken. Cornerstone, baby, your honey bun with some now and laters. They wanna ask if my shoes is level, they alligator. Money was an issue, so I'm not the type to try to save it. Busting moves and hitting licks, you crack to duck the allegations. I'm from the bricks, the baby be hitting licks. The shorties be rolling dice and the ballers be serving bricks. I don't like cash. Tango, you mad, you can't go. Cheat you like a Kennedy, bust a clip and you can't go. You trying to cross the border to make sure you got the pesos. Don't tell me that